Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Off Limits, Off Limits Press's brand new release, Hearts Strange and Dreadful by Tim McGregor. Uh, once again, Off Limits Press is continuing with the quality. I have one, one criticism about this book that knocked it down to four stars for me. We will get to that in a second. But first I need to let you know that this book was sent to me uh, for free for review. I got an advanced review copy, hence the little bar here that says not for recent. Okay, so I'm gonna start this review with my one criticism um, about this book. It was enough for me to knock it down to four stars, but I don't think it's gonna bother the majority of you. So just bear with me on this. Uh, the book is written in a first person narrative from uh, the point of view of Hester, the main character. That's not a problem, really. Her, her voice is wonderful. I loved it. The problem is the cast is absolutely massive. Um, I don't think I got enough from the other characters. Uh, I if I, I don't want to I don't want to say I would have written it differently, but I think a third person narrative, you know, with with the other characters might have built them up a little more because I felt no connection with them whatsoever. There's just so many of them that I even sometimes got them confused. Like with Henry and Will, I got them confused sometimes. Maybe I wasn't reading close enough, I don't know. Uh, but th this is one of those times when it, it felt like the support characters were support characters. And I like to have the, the side characters be just as important as the main character. And I don't I don't don't think I got that there. Now that that is out of the way, we can talk about all the good stuff that is in this book. Uh, I look for three things in a horror novel: dread, pacing, and a uh, uh, sorry characters. We we already know that the characters didn't completely work for me, but as far as the dread is concerned, this book it it mounts and mounts and mounts to a hell of a payoff too. The ending does go by a little bit quickly, but I don't think it needed anything more. Um, added to it. I think it did what it should do. And the very last chapter, I was thinking, what, what's the point of this? What, you know, what's, what's the point of everything going on in this last chapter? And then I read the final couple lines and I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I was, uh, I was, I was heartbroken. Um, just, I, I had no idea what, uh, Tim McGregor was setting up in that part. And by the end of it, I'm like, well, damn, okay. That's how it's going to be. All right, fine. Um, it, it broke my heart, uh, which is, I mean, hearts strange and dreadful, it kind of on theme here, but the, uh, I think the thing that I like the most about this is the fact that it is readable historical fiction where people speak like the time frame. Um, it is, I, I it, at least to me, it felt, uh, believable and realistic the way they talked. Um, it's kind of like watching, uh, the movie, the witch. Uh, which I absolutely loved because they got the, the the vernacular right, I guess it is, and the vernacular felt right here also. But the main thing is, it's a piece of historical fiction that I enjoyed. I normally don't like historical fiction, especially historical fiction that is accurate. I know that sounds horrible, I know, but I don't like any of the classics, any of that stuff, because I don't, yeah, I just don't jive with the with the, that type of writing and storytelling. But here, this book blazes. Um, so the pacing is off the charts uh, as well. So th those are two of my main points. The dread and the pacing were on point. Um, the only thing that, that fell flat for me kind of was the characters. Now the characters are not bad, don't get me wrong. They just didn't feel important enough for me to care about other than Hester. Um, a little more about the uh, the book. Uh, Hester ha is disfigured after a fire. Um, she's uh, an orphan. Also, uh, the town where her, where she used to live is set upon by a plague, and the plague ends up coming to her own town. Um, I really liked the character of Fisk. Um, I liked his entire. Um, character arc, even though we got very little of him, what we did get of him was was good. So I guess my two favorite characters are Fisk and Hester. Um, I will say that I was a little confused. Um, I, I don't know why this is. Maybe I wasn't reading close enough, but I was a little confused between Will and what was his name, Henry. Uh, one was one was in love with Hester. 
and the other one Hester was in love with. It's kind of almost like a love triangle going on, but not in a not in a, a YA vibe. It's a it it's well done. In fact, the in fact that love triangle pays off in that final chapter. I feel um, the final, especially the the last couple of lines. Um, what McGregor does there was was exceptional. I enjoyed that a lot. But have you read Hearts Strange and Dreadful by Tim McGregor? If you have, let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo, whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. If you loved it or hated it, tell me why you loved it or hated it so we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>